when the light is rich and warm, it has the power to stir the soul and transform the ordinary into something exceptional. In landscape photography, light is everything. Before the sunrise the light was looking really promising and it kept getting better and better. The dynamic range allowed me to work with just one exposure for each of these images and I didn't use any filters. I'm in Niagara Falls that's probably the little giveaway in the background there. Oh, and there is Dave Griff, because we're here for the UTOGS meetup. I'm with Andy Strote as well from Toronto. We've just seen Tim Day and Rachel Lurch uh, wandering around. This morning we got here in the dark, and my goodness, the, the weather is really good to us. The sunrise was just beautiful, beautiful light, and I think we all got some pretty good images. Normally when I go out and shoot, I've got a 24 millimeter and a 50 millimeter prime and that's about it. But here, I've brought pretty much every, every uh, focal range up to 300 millimeters because there's just so much to shoot. Everything from a big wide shot of, of the whole falls right down to a little detail of birds on a rock. What's really nice about this time of the year is the sun comes up just sort of behind Horseshoe Falls, just a little bit to the left and all of the mist that, that comes up from the water creates a bit of a, a diffuser and you just get such a nice quality of light. Typically when the sun comes up on a, on a clear day in the summer it just gets so bright but the mist is just prolonging the shooting time, keeping the light nice and soft. Yeah, a nice sort of diffused quality to it. It's really nice. After all that excitement this morning, it's time to recharge, get some food, and we're in the International House of Pancakes. Now, if you've never heard of this very fine establishment, it's worth knowing about because you only need to have one meal here at breakfast, and you don't need to eat for lunch or dinner. That saves time. But it's also advisable to probably order an exercise bike. We still have a couple of hours left before the official UTOGS meetup at one o'clock. So we're going to have a little wander around the more touristy part of Niagara Falls to see what we can find.
As we're approaching midday, the tourists are coming by the coach load, so it's time to do a little bit of people watching. We found this really nice formal garden. There's not so many people coming through here, but enough to make it worth hanging out with a long lens and doing some, some people watching and shooting. We finally met the rest of the group and decided to come back to the falls and take another look just to see if there were any other photo opportunities to be had. But the sun's out, it's middle of the afternoon and it's just full of tourists so it's very hard to even get to the edge to shoot. So what I did for the past hour was take some shots of people taking shots of people and taking shots of themselves. It's Instagram heaven here, so it's just really interesting to people watch and see that. So there's a whole bunch of images coming up right now. Here's a takeaway tip from today. Get here early. We got here at 6.30, just ready for sunrise. We had the first two or three hours, we had the place to ourselves. But um, yeah, as soon as mid-morning hit and the coaches came in, finito. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.